Welcome to your updates and rumors for Las Vegas, June 2022. The first update we'll begin with is the MSG Sphere. The last beam has been put in place to top off the 366 foot tall building that is also 516 feet in diameter. The Sphere will be home to the world's largest LED screen at 580,000 square feet and will have wraparound digital screen inside and out. Set to open in late 2023, the Sphere will have 164,000 individual speakers as part of its sound technology and will cost a total of $1.8 billion when completed. Next, we will move on to Lake Mead's water levels. The water level at Lake Mead has recently just dropped below 1,050 feet. Lake Mead is the largest reservoir in the United States and provides water to roughly 25 million people in Arizona, Nevada, California, and Mexico. The lake is currently operating in a Tier 1 shortage that began back in January. Under Tier 1 conditions, Southwest states saw mandatory cuts in the water they could consume from the Colorado River. Those cuts have mostly affected agriculture. If the lake's water level is expected to stay below 1,050 feet by January of 2023, the more serious Tier 2 shortage would go into effect. Arizona would go from its current 18% cut to 21%. Nevada will go from 7% to 8%, and Mexico will also see a 7% cut in its water. One of the biggest stories about the lower water levels in Lake Mead is the fact that several bodies have recently been found that are expected to have been missing for decades. There's plenty of speculation that these bodies were from people who crossed the mafia in Las Vegas back when they had much more influence on the area. How many more bodies will be found? No one actually knows. But don't be surprised if more are found throughout the year, along with more boats, trucks, and other vehicles getting stuck in the mud as the water levels of Lake Mead continue to decline. Now we will discuss cannabis lounges opening. Some are anticipating cannabis lounges opening in late summer at the earliest, but the fall would be more likely. Recreational use of marijuana in Nevada has been legal for several years, but consumption lounges just became legalized. The issue right now is that local government is figuring out how to regulate the lounges. The law does allow the county to set guidelines that are actually more strict than what the state would require for lounges to operate. The Clark County Commission held a meeting on April 19th to discuss some of these regulations like distance limits, restrictions on business hours, types of entertainment lounges can have, as well as the total number of lounges that will be allowed to operate. For those of you that are big fans of Tacos El Gordo Mexican restaurants around the Las Vegas Valley, you will be happy to know that there is another location opening for the company. This one is just across the street from Town Square. I posted a picture of it on Twitter within the past few weeks. The ultimate question though is when will it officially open? It's been over two years since word was put out that they were planning to build it, but we will have to wait and see if any time frame becomes available to the public in the near future on the opening date. The Fremont Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas is still working on their $50 million remodel of the property. Boyd Gaming began with remodeling the hotel side of operations first with their rooms, but will also be remodeling the casino floor and the food court area as well. The renovations are expected to be completed in early 2023. As we enter the rumors section of this video, we will discuss what's happening with Resorts World Construction. For those of you who follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you saw that not that long ago I put out that multiple personnel at Resorts World had stated that the construction taking place on site is to build a water park. New word is that although there may be some water features built, the main focus of the project is building another tower that is part of the Zook brand that currently operates their nightclub and day club. But only time will tell with what Resorts World actually has planned. Adele was going to begin her residency at Caesars Palace in January, but is now looking at moving the residency to Planet Hollywood. The whole situation has certainly caused some frustration for fans who had already bought tickets to see her as many are waiting to see what will happen. Ultimately, no one knows what will happen with this residency, if it will happen at all, or if it will just be a handful of shows that she chooses to do here in Las Vegas. If you have been tracking the construction of the boring tunnel system, you may have heard that there have been some recent issues with the project. Construction issues are pretty common, especially in large projects such as this, but not a lot of details have been made public about the rumors of construction issues at the moment. The word about the Oakland A's moving to Las Vegas is that the team has narrowed down its search for a stadium to play in from five potential locations to two. 
both of which are in the tourist corridor, and one of them is rumored to be where the Tropicana Hotel and Casino currently sits on the Las Vegas Strip. If a stadium is to be built, there is a debate over whether or not a tax to take money from tourists and locals will be used to help pay for the private organization's facility. The Oakland A's are currently last in Major League Baseball as far as attendance. In a stadium that holds 63,000 people, they average just over 8,000 fans a game, a 143% drop from last year. This has also led to a rumor that the A's are supposedly not really considering moving to Las Vegas, but instead are using this situation as leverage to get a better deal with the city of Oakland. That is it for your Las Vegas update and rumors for June of 2022. Remember to hit the like button if you didn't do so already. Subscribe for more content in the future and you can support me on Patreon for as little as $1 with the link in the description. Thank you for watching. I am Jacob and this is my life in Vegas.